Hey folks, Ashley here, allthingsindustry.com, and today we're just going to be talking about making a, a, an implant stent. One of many ways, I mean there are thousands of different ways to do this procedure, and uh, this is one I learned off of uh, iTunes University from Michigan, and this is uh, sort of our spin on it, uh, the quick and fast, just get it done kind of version. Um, if you want the long version, go watch that one. So what we've done is we want to make this stent, this is VLC triad, <coughs> and instead of doing we have done the we've completed the wax up, and we're going to make a stent out of VSO triad. So what we've done is I've taken uh, things I used were <clears throat> a lab rounder fits in here, a three millimeter shank. Then I took a number two or number yeah number two um, and ground off the end. We don't have a twist drill, so this is what it's mimicking. So a number two uh, surveyor undercut gauge for the uh, surveyor. one of these guys so I cut the end off and so what we're gonna do is we'd first as uh, Dr. K had mentioned make sure you look at all the angulations uh, of the adjacent teeth so he took a pencil and drew the long axis of each of the teeth and then what has also been happened I removed it is to determine draw a line on each of all the cusps uh, incisal edges to determine where you want the implant to be so that and you want to line just a little bit lingual. You want to dot, place your implant a little bit lingual to that. So what we're doing now is I took a round burr just to make a little dimple. You could use a twist drill. Don't have one. We don't ever have them. So I've lined up our, my angulation that the line is straight. That's a better way of doing it. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, line is this line is coincident with the uh, line that we've drawn for sort of the long axis of the uh, lateral. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to make a little dimple. This has all been a pre-adjusted just so we spin width through this. I'm going to blow that. And then what we're going to do is going to take our, two milli, our O2O undercut gauge, place it in the dimple, make sure that our alignment is all correct. Tighten that up. Now our alignment is correct in three... 3D, here, let me get that down, in three dimensions, so not only in the yeah. anterior, posterior, mesodistal, and uh, up and down. So what we're going to do now is make sure you block out all the undercuts before you um, cure this. Took some VLC triad, good old triad. Oh, that's already set, look at that. This is already set too. Cut. No, not quite. We've been playing with it enough. And then what we're going to do is just sort of mold it in around. Here's some that's still good. The stuff that's been inhibited, the oxygen inhibited, inhibition layer, inhibited layer. So it's going to pack that in there around it. And when we adjust this, we're going to adjust this. Remember, things to remember is that a twist drill is only going to can only go so far down or your handpiece. So you need to make sure this is a little bit lower. I'm not sure what that means. Okay, make sure it's all packed in there. I'm going to lift this up, spin it out so it doesn't catch, and there you have it. So there's our. Is the channel pretty smooth? Well, what's going to happen? Yeah, it's going to be smooth, and then we're going to cure it. Okay. <clears throat> then we're going to take our take our lab burr, and then smooth it down even more so. Smooth Should it over. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and cure it. So what you want to do is make sure that you're you get if it's going to be too supported, make sure you can go ahead, man. I'm just going to finish talking. If you're going to have too supported, make sure that it's on the teeth, uh, limited on the um, mucosa. But make sure it's not too small. My experience has been I made little wee ones, surgical stents, you might as well throw them in the garbage. And the idea of a surgical stent, really briefly, is that when you go to take your twist drill, you want it to guide, just be a guide, it's not going to be the exact placement, just the guide of where you're going to place that implant. Or just start, um, place your first uh, osteotomy. After that, once your twist drill has been gone, through, uh, been used, and you place your guide pin, you chuck that to the wind, and then this pilot hole 
is upon what the which the other osteotomies follow and you can sort of adjust fire as you go down so I hope that helps that's a really quick and dirty uh, way of making one way of a stent there's many others you can wax up and etc cheers